Hello. Now, before we dive in, I want to say thank you. The previous video on inflammation and heart disease made a big impact. And I'm truly grateful to everyone who liked, commented, subscribed, and helped spread the word. But not everyone agreed. Since releasing that video, I've received some dislikes and even a comment calling me a quack watch case, implying that what I shared wasn't evidence-based or real medicine. So let me make one thing absolutely clear. Nothing I say on this channel is made up. I'm not here to sell hype or theories. I'm here to share truth grounded in clinical experience and peer-reviewed science. As a cardiologist with over a decade of hands-on experience in critical care, I've seen firsthand what the textbooks miss. Every claim I make is backed by real data, real patients, and real studies. And today, I have a case that proves it. Peace be upon you and welcome back to Mend Human. I'm speaking to you now from the on-call room during my CCU shift. As a follow up to our previous episode on inflammation and heart disease. I encountered a case today that powerfully reinforces everything we've discussed. It's a real life example that I believe everyone needs to hear because it's not just rare, it's common and it's dangerous. What you're looking at now is the coronary angiography of 63 years old man, diabetic, non-smoker and already on statins to manage his cardiac. He presented to us with massive heart attack and was immediately rushed for a primary PCI to save his life. 